Hello, this is Brianna Kempster. I have been a teacher in SFUSD for 17 years, and I am a math content specialist at Curriculum and Instruction. I'm excited to talk to you about Unit 5.4, Multiplying and Dividing Decimals by Whole Numbers. You and your students will likely start this unit at the end of November and continue up to winter break. The big idea of this unit is that multiplication and division of two numbers will produce the same digits regardless of the position of the decimal point. The thing that changes is the value of the digits in relation to their place within the number. For example, students use their understanding of place value to find patterns in the placement of the decimal point in the product when multiplying decimals. The math talks in this unit are a great way to develop students' ability to do mental multiplication and division of decimal numbers and help them notice such patterns. It is important that students make connections between math they have already learned and math they are going to learn. Prior to this unit, students learned that decimals can be represented interchangeably as fractions or in decimal form. They also learned multiple ways to add and subtract decimals. They understand multiplication as equal groups. From fifth grade on, students also think of multiplication and division as scaling, the idea that multiplying and dividing can magnify or shrink a number. They estimate products and quotients using decimal number sense and rounding. In the next unit, students will multiply and divide decimals based on place value understanding and properties of operations. In grade 6, students will fluently use all operations with decimals. They will also write and evaluate expressions using whole number exponents. Students start this unit by using concrete materials to multiply decimals by whole numbers, including powers of 10. They record their work and look for patterns in the placement of the decimal point in the product. Then, students use concrete materials to divide decimals by whole numbers, including powers of 10. They record their work and look for patterns in the placement of the decimal point in the quotient. Finally, students re-engage with the core math for, of the unit. They multiply decimals to create original flower designs in preparation for the milestone task. One example of how the core math is developed is in the lesson series where students focus on mathematical practice standard one, make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. It's important to give students multiple opportunities to engage in productive struggle and grapple with multiplying and dividing decimals by whole numbers by asking probing questions that will expand their thinking. The milestone task, Flower Power, is one lesson where students practice making sense of the problems and persevere in, sol in solving them. When you sit down with your colleagues to preview this unit, I recommend you do the expert task, The Value of Education, because it will give you a good idea of how this unit supports students with deepening their understanding of multiplication and division by working with decimals and whole numbers. It is also an, an opportunity to see different solution paths based on estimation and reasoning. By the end of this unit, students will have had many experiences with multiplying and dividing decimals by whole numbers. They work on estimating before doing the math. Estimation is an important skill to emphasize with students. Students will continue to grapple with fractions and decimals in the upcoming units. As always, if you have feedback, please go to sfusdmath.org and click on the Curriculum Feedback button. Have fun with this unit and thank you for all that you do. We will see you again in mid-December for Unit 5.5, Multiplying and Dividing Decimals by Decimals.